YouTubers and welcome to another video. This week's pickups, we've got a lot of stuff. Yes, 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 lots of stuff that didn't make onto the vlog. So, we got them here, right here, sitting on this table. So, let's start off with the non-gaming stuff first. Yes, the non-gaming stuff. <clears throat> The very first thing we have here is a mini Klingon Batlet. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> I got this as a gift from one of my buddies. Um, I went somewhere to uh, pick up some uh, stuff. Well, a couple of the PS2 games were a little too expensive. There was different uh, stacks and stuff, so... I happened to see my buddy there, he, uh, because this guy was selling lots. So he picked up a lot because there was, uh, cars in there. He put this in there somehow, for some reason, don't know why. Why he didn't put it with the, with the, uh, set of Star Trek Migos was crazy. But he gave it to me as a gift because he knew I love Star Trek. And let me give you a little something, something in Klingon. Fourth toss. Blood, cha blue, terra, qua qua na, po vates. I just said a revenge is a dish best served cold. It's time for war. This is known as the Klingon weapon of choice when they go to war. It also comes with this little stand here. Next, we move on to. This, whatever this thing is, um, it's a scroll, yes, but what kind of a scroll? It's one of them picture scrolls. Yes, it's covering my face. Hello! I'm still here. Hello! Still unscrolling here. Let's put it together. Ugh. There we go. Really long, so I think half is cut out. But yeah, uh, let's just, um, yeah, that's what it is. It's an anime called, um, code, whatever anime this is, anybody, let me know. Uh, I just like the picture, and I like anime shit. Pretty big, uh, let's try and see if we can get the bottom, somehow. I'm still, yeah. No more folding. Uh, put this away. Um, don't. Beat it. Yes. Oh, right. We're still doing videos. Yes. Uh, that big thing over, that scroll. Holy. Big. Yes. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what anime it's from. I just thought it was cool, and I picked it up for dirt cheap. So, I couldn't turn it down. Could I? Here's another thing I picked up. Aha! Yes! Creepy! They are all creepy horror magazine comics. For anybody who doesn't know, in like the 60s, the horror craze was big. With movies, TV shows, toys, merchandise, t-shirts, music, Specials, you name it, it was everywhere. So what did the comic book industry do? They took famous magazine styles and they turned them into magazine comics. So you see these right here? I'm gonna just show off a few covers. Um not gonna go crazy, but uh yeah, they're like it's in a form of a magaz it's in a form of a magazine but in a but in a style of a comic. Hence why they call it the horror magazine comics. I love horror stuff, so why not? Got these for well the guy I picked it up from had no idea and had one dirt cheap price. And I'll tell you this. Over two hundred dollars worth in value on in creepy comic magaz magaz horror magazine comics. I found it for a mere Five dollars. I had five dollars on. I asked him uh, if he would do any better, just to see, cause he, cause I knew he didn't know what they were, so that's why I asked. 
He's like, five bucks a great price. I took it anyways. For $200 worth of creepy magazines, who wouldn't do that? Now on to some wrestling. Yes, wrestling. Yes, you guys know I love wrestling because I have a second channel called Over the Top Rope that I do wrestling stuff with. And, you know, I'm trying to go for a right behind me, right there. A complete wrestling video game shelf. Yes. We're going to start off with Dos Wrestling Tickets. Yes, they're not WWE. No, no, they're not. None of those big things. This is a battle arts uh, show called Rising Star. I go there because uh, I love indie wrestling. I love student shows. Also, I want to support my friends. Yes, I want to support my friend Anthony Corelli, formerly known as Santino Morella. Love to support his show. Who wouldn't support their buddy? Yes, I know he was a professional wrestler. And now he's sitting in a gym running shows and training. But, hey, I'm going to support him. And also, I support my friends that are on the card, like Divya, um, R RJ sometimes shows up, uh, Tyson Dukes. Yes, I love to support all my buddies out there. That's why I go. Please, if you live in the um, Mississauga or Toronto area or Hamilton area, go to uh, Battle Arts Academy located in Angling, at Tomkin, right on Tomkin and Anglington. It, they do great shows, Rising Stars. Some, some of these matches are way better than professional matches. But enough of me babbling on about that. Uh, next stuff we got here from a great buddy of mine, uh, Cl Clifford or some, or Coco, his nickname. He gave me all these great gifts. Got here 2009 wrestling cards. A few 2010 cards, but mainly 2009. Look at this. Complete um, inserts. 2009 set. We have uh, silvers. Not all of them, but some. Got uh, We're missing some of the champion cards. Uh, we have here uh, the Diva section. Then we have here the WCW cards. He knows I'm a huge WCW mark, so he gave me all the WCW cards he loves. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks for the uh, great gift stuff, Cliff. Coco. Um, also, um, he gave me these. Uh, it was in this thing. Complete common set for 2009. And then you have here a set of the Miz stuff. He knows I'm a huge... Well, minus this stuff. These are the Golden Champion cards, which came from the... Uh, which set was this? Uh, 2010. These are from the 2010 set. And then the Miz cards, because he knows I love the Miz. Like, look at that. Miz 1, Miz 2, Miss three, Miss four, Miss five, Miss six, Miss seven. He knows how much of a big. Oh, sorry, Santino Morella. Sorry, how did he get in there? Well, okay, let's recount. Miss one, Miss two, Miss three, Miss four, Miss five, and Miss six. He knows I love the Miss so much. He knows how much of. Sure, I meet wrestlers on a weekly basis now, nothing exciting, but The Miz is the one that gets me really, really excited. Like, say, picture this. Right in front of here, picture a 14-year-old girl sitting here and Justin Bieber was across the room. That's how I feel about The Miz. No, nothing sexual, just crazy. Okay, okay, I'll admit it. I have a fucking man crush to The Miz. Yes, I said it. Mike The Miz, I have a man crush on him. And Cliff knows it. All my friends know it. But I really appreciate the cards. And this he gave because he knows I, I see Santino almost every two weeks. So, yeah, I'm going to get him to personalize this for me. Now on to the games. But sticking with the wrestling. Yes, wrestling. We got here SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Uh, Pick this up from Game Experts because, well, any wrestling game that I don't have, they know I don't have because I showed them. There's an app I have called My Game Collection. I use that app to monetize the games I I still need and gave or want, and games I have I erase from my list. So they've seen my list, and anytime they get a wrestling game that's on my list of wants, they hold it for me. Appreciate it. Then I got these two uh, games: um, Crash Hour. And uh, Showdown Legends of Wrestling. These two I picked up from a bundle of uh, 
PS2 games, which I've already sold off those PS2 games. I picked up the bundle, mainly. There were a lot of wrestling games, like SmackDown vs. Raw, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, 2007, 2008, uh, Shut Your Mouth, and then uh, three random uh, sports games. I already sold those off. I picked these up, and then immediately the next day, uh, one of my customers, well, one of my regulars messaged me about it, and I'm like, I got the box right there, and then he's like, he wanted all the SmackDown versus Raw games, but I gave him a good enough price to take the rest of the box. But yeah, I got these two out of it. Look, look, look back there. Woo! Yeah, back there, baby. It's gonna complete. These three are gonna go right in there, slip and slide. Just a little, yes, filling off my wrestling shelf. My number one priority right now. Then we have to finish it off. An amiibo! Yes! Yes! Now look back here, ladies and gentlemen. Luigi, 20th anniversary, Mario, Rob the Robot, Famicomi Edition, and then Lucas. So, who did I get? No, I didn't get the 30th anniversary uh, Legend of Zelda stuff. That I'm planning to pick up probably in the next two, three weeks. Not a rush, because... Uh, I went to Walmart the day of its release, sold out, then I went back again a week later. They overstocked to the point where it was like, holy crap. The reason I say Walmart, because Walmart's like 30 seconds away from me. So when when I went there this week, I saw Ness. They restocked Ness. Yes. Lucas is no longer alone. Yes. Lucas's best friend is here. Yes. He's going to go right there next to Lucas. Big hugs. Yes. I picked up Ness. Sure, it's uh, a second print, but I don't give a fuck. I like Amiibos. I want, and I got it for, well, not the stupid $60, $70 the first series was going for when it came out, but I picked up Ness, and Luke is no longer sad. He's happy now. Well, there's my pickups for this week. What do you think of this week's pickups? Also, did you learn some cooling on? Did you learn how to talk like a... Badass cling on, I'm sure you did. Rewind that, look at that, watch that, listen to it, know what I said. Also, that little notification bell button over in the corner somewhere, um, down here, I think, it's on this side of the YouTube when you're watching said video, click it, click it, because YouTube's been having a lot of problems. Please click that button because uh, if you want to be notified, yes, also if, if you notice that you clicked it but it's not there anymore click it again there's been issues with the youtube with not being notified and also if you hit the like button please hit the like button again because sometimes when you refresh the page uh the like likes they poof vanishly disappear also like first and comment because if you comment then like apparently they delete your comment um so like first then comment if you if you want to do both and uh please that notification right down there notification squad where are you at please yes and now as always enjoy life and keep on collecting and hit that notification button please youtube fix that please fans hit it you'll be notified keep hitting it